today i am going to start periodic table one of the chapter of chemistry and this is a very heavy chapter it has numerous contents but i met it into 15 points and i am going to finish this 15 points within three classes that's why um, according to plan let's start i want to finish up to five points today what is the concept i mean to say why do we need to classify the element the concept behind this is this way we can see uh, study of uh, all the elements one by one study of all the elements and their thousands of compound is very difficult and probably not possible also that's why the concept of classification is started scientists try to group them the elements having similar properties are placed in one group if we start like this then the story becomes easier and shorter that's why they started so if you are told to write what is classification then how can we say what is classification it is a grouping of elements according to the similarity and dissimilarity of the elements this way we can say classification now next the result of the classification is finally result of the classification is a table in which all the elements were placed and this is called periodic table now how can we define periodic table periodic table it is a table of all the elements in which elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic number in such a way that the elements having similar electronic configuration are placed in a group this way we can define this periodic table now what is the advantage of this periodic table why do we need this periodic table why do we need to group the elements in the periodic table there are two basic advantages one it certains and systematize the study of the elements we can say like this because it provides group study and number two uh, it makes the study of the elements easier by providing comparative study of the groups these are the two basic advantages it sorts and systematizes the study of the elements and uh, number two it makes the study of the elements easier providing the group study now now i want to talk about the structure let's talk about the structure how a periodic table looks like this is the basic structure of periodic table basically a periodic table is made up of group and period this is the column the column each of the column is group of periodic table and each of the row is the uh, period of the periodic table that's why we can say that a periodic table is made up of groups and periods this way a periodic table is made and it is distinctly divided into uh, four blocks also it is not only divided into groups and periods it is divided into four blocks also look at this these two groups makes a block s block and one two three four five six six this six groups makes a makes another block that is p block and this in the middle side there are 10 groups and it makes another block d block and this is another one this is f block it means periodic table is divided into four distinct block they are s block p block d block and f block now let's talk about the name of the group and period the these groups are named differently look at this 1a 2a 3a 4a 5a 6a 7a and in the same way 1b 2b 3b 4b 5b 6b 7b in this way including a and b together we have seven groups and this eighth group consists of three vertical column eighth group and this zero group including this zero group there are all together nine groups of periodic table according to our syllabus but according to iupac system there are 18 vertical columns that's why periodic table consists of 18 groups both are correct now let's talk about the uh, period also look at this first period consists of only two elements that's why it is called shortest period 
or very short period second period consists of eight eight elements and third also consists of eight elements they are called short period first is shortest or very short second and third short period and fourth and fifth are called long period because each of them contains 18 elements but the sixth one is called longest period because it contains 32 elements including this also that's why very short 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 long period and very long period in this way periodic table is named different groups are named uh, again if you uh, you are confused don't be confused we can say there are 18 groups also and according to our syllabus there are nine groups but the periods number of periods are seven there are all together num seven periods some of the groups are named differently also now, instead of saying 1a 2a 3a 4a or 1b 2b 3b 4b they are named something different than this i want to tell this group just like alkali metal alkali earth metal uh, and then halogens and noble gas there are uh, four groups which are named differently and i want to tell them look at this elements of group 1a are called alkali metal y except hydrogen all of them are metal and their oxide dissolves in water to form alkali so the elements of group 1a are called alkali metals in the same way why the elements of group 2a are called alkali earth metals they are metals their oxide dissolves in water to form alkali moreover they are abundantly found on the earth cross that's why they are called alkali earth metal in the same way look at this group 7a 7a fluorine chlorine bromine iodine etc they are called halogens heli means sea salt genus means producer they are called sea salt producer because chlorine combines with so sodium to form one of the major sea salt sodium chloride and remaining Remaining fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine also combines with metal to form salt, which are found in the sea. That's why they this group is called sea salt producer halogens. In the same way, look at this: zero group elements are called inert gas or noble gas. Why helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, etc. of this group are gases, and uh, their outermost orbit of their atom. The outermost orbit of their atom is satisfied with the number of electron either by forming duplet or octet so they do not take part in the chemical reaction hence they are called inert gas or noble all the groups are not named few groups are named which i told you in the same way if you have noticed the periodic table has got two row of elements at the bottom they are called lanthanides and actinides how do we define lanthanides and actinides? This is lanthanide. This row is lanthanides. After the element lanthanum, a series of 14 elements, which starts from cerium, having atomic number 58, and ends at uh, lutetium, having atomic number 71. This series is called lanthanides. In the same way, what is actinide? After the element actinium, a series of 14 elements which starts from thorium having atomic number 90 and ends at laurentium having atomic number 103 are called actinides, lanthanides and actinides. Out of 15 points, what I told you in uh, at the start, uh, starting of the class, 5 points we finished just now. Now remaining points I'll talk uh, in another class, I'll tell you about those points in another class. This much for today.